Greetings friends, welcome. Um, quite an exciting one today. We've got an update for Lit Element. Um, it's been quite a long time since one of these um, and here it is. Uh, the name's changed for a start. It's called Lit now. Um, so there's even there's a whole new repo um, and a whole new NPM. Got a new website, new name, new logo. Um, quite a lot of changes in here, um, but not many breaking changes, thankfully. I'm going to upgrade today, um, and that's going to be quite straightforward, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few exciting things in there. Highlights for me would be the SSR ability. Um, so we're going to be able to server-side render these, hopefully. It's using... Um, it's basing that on uh, declarative shadow DOM. Uh, I did a video on declarative shadow DOM recently. Uh, I'll put a link to that here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, there was a, I watched the, the stream um, and they had a demo for Eleventy. Um, so my websites are in Gatsby, um, but I might try and do an Eleventy one just to see if I can get this um, scroll to top component working in there. That would be quite fun. Uh, right, uh, before we jump in though, um, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below, change the alert icon to all, and you'll get updates for future videos. All right, let's jump in. Uh, there's the website, but um, I'm mainly going to be looking at dating today. So let's just pull this over here. Um, we'll close lit for the moment. So here's my scroll to top uh, web component, written with lit element. Now, because it's a new repository, it's actually just called lit. So we're going to be importing from lit. I wonder if I'm still going to, if this is going to be fixed or I'm still going to have a problem there. We'll see. Um, one of the things that does change is that the, um, one of the breaking changes is that these decorators are no longer in the main package. Um, so people not using them don't have to pay the cost for those. So I think we need to import those um, from a different package. We'll see, we should get an error coming up for that, so that will help us. When I was watching the stream as well, I did notice um, two things um, that I learned. One, I now know why this property, which I was hoping would work just by adding the attribute. Um, so if I, if I look at this... What this one does is change it into a 3D flip card. Um, and if I look at my component at the moment, I, I need to have fancy equals true. And if I scroll down now, oh, I've already broken it actually. Uh, let, me, let me just put that back a second. Because <laughs> I just want to show this while we're here. Um, put that back to there. Uh, and if I scroll down, so now it's doing a nice 3D spin. Um, but what I wanted was not to have to say fancy equals true and just have the presence of the attribute work. Um, and at the moment, it just, that nukes it doesn't work. It's not doing the fancy um, spin. But that's because my property here, although I've declared it as a boolean here, I haven't done it in the uh, decorator and that's what lit element hooks into so i need to say i need to tell it in there that it's type boolean now it will work just on the presence of it so if i scroll down now we'll see it spins in um, so it's honoring this without having to say equals true so that was a cool thing to learn um, right let's go back let me um let me change that over to lit so that's gonna break it um, and is that gonna be yeah I need to pull in everyone so if I look at my file here I'm gonna stop the um, snowpack for the moment I'll just make this full screen so we can easily see it um, so what do I need to do I need to do the import of um, property and the import of um, custom element and they're now going to come from um, one of the sub packages so it will be lit I, I guess decorators um, I'm not really 
that knowledgeable of how these sub package imports work do I, do I need to actually specify <coughs> the file itself yeah I mean it's it's no, it's noticing that I can't pull these in I've got squigglies there so that's pretty cool on type strip so I know that, that, that there go can my TS ignore go does it no, it's still If I change my module resolution, maybe that will go. If I go into tsconfig and say mode resolution no, it should then find that, I guess. Still giving me squigglies. Can I find lit? Oh, well, I haven't actually installed lit yet. Um, so that would be a thing. So let's do um, npm install lit. All right, uh, now does that help? Yeah, okay, no long, so TypeScript and everything is working well there now. So it always was, I think, I just didn't have this um, specified correctly. All right, this, this seems to be working. I have done this before, and that is the syntax, I guess, is it? It looks happy. Uh, right, in terms of upgrading them, because there's no breaking changes apart from this, I'm hoping that is going to just work for us. So let's do an mpx snowpack dev and get rid of that and leave that one and then if I scroll down, okay we're in. That is still working. We're using the smaller, faster, new lit package. Um, one other thing that I noticed on the stream as well was when you're declaring these, if, if you don't want it to be external, you don't want it to create an attribute, um, you can set them as state, I think. So I, my, my activate when I want, and also... Um, and also fancy, but this show toast, I only want to be internal. So I think we can just call this state. Is it a capital S? Actually, no, it's probably it's a little less, but I've got to, I've got to pull it in, I guess. Um, state in there. Now, that means that we haven't got this confusion of, of being able to specify this um, as an attribute. And that is still working pretty nice. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. What would I do? Um, just make this slightly bigger. Like so. Um, so. What are, where are we? We've changed a few things, so let's get those into GitHub. Upgrade to lit 2.0. And push those up. Then I can do an npm version patch. Okay, and an npm um, publish, like so. Ah, I did rebuild my PC the other day, and so I am not logged into npm. npm add user, I can't remember how to do any of this. Um, what's it going to ask for? My username? I have no idea, not a clue what that would be. Um, all right, so I'm gonna push that up later when I find my password out. Um, but in terms of the upgrade, that's pretty straightforward. I'm looking forward to doing a few more videos. There's, 
There's um, new directive abilities, there's new controllers, uh, there's SSR, um, so hopefully that one, I want to I wanna definitely do a video on that. Uh, yeah, so quite a few things to come there. All right, I hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if so, thumbs down if not. Thanks very much for watching and catch you next time.